Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate RAG to Outlook Calendar. First of all, we have to create, create ourselves an account at RAG.com and uh, we want to continue uh, with uh, on our homepage. As you can see, we already got like 14 days of free trial that uh, RAG provides for us. Uh, but back to our task, we want to go to the top right corner of our screen and there's your account or your profile and we want to go to apps and integrations. Once we do that, uh, we get redirected to the new page of RAG and we have to find ourselves amongst all these options, uh, the Outlook calendar. Uh, let's go, there's a, a Google and let's go with Outlook, RAG for Outlook or just Outlook calendar. It's uh, one of uh, these options, so let's go with uh, let's go with uh, RAG for Outlook or let's just go with simple Outlook. That's the options number two and options number um, options number one and options number two. For this, you need to uh, RAG integrate package, and it should concern uh, be concerned into like Outlook calendar as well. But there's other way that you can integrate it and that's uh, through zapier.com first of all we also have to create an account in zapier.com and once we do that we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap you can name it like this like uh, uh, right to outlook and once we are here, we have to start with the application that uh, we want to start our Zap with. In our case, it's RAG. Once we do that, we want to choose an event, which will be new task. We want to hit the continue and we want to log in to account that we created on RAG. Like this, we press continue. Now, uh, this all depends on how you set up your RAG account. So folder where your uh, employees will uh, see your work and I would go with through. So like this, you can uh, test your trigger if it's working, but you don't have to. You, we can go straight to step number two. Step number two is actually the application that will be affected by our uh, right trigger. In our case, it's Outlook. We press Outlook. We choose an event. So what will need to happen? Uh, it's a new task in RAG will trigger uh, create an event, let's say, in uh, Microsoft Outlook. We press continue. And the last thing you need to do is just sign in with your Microsoft Outlook account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.